Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel StartupLanes.com. I'm Namrata and I'm taking interviews of the CEOs and founders of several innovative startups in India. In today's interview, I'll be talking to Mr. Suresh Konduru, the founder of Premier Agile Consulting. Mr. Suresh has an extensive experience of over 23 years working in the IT industry as an Agile trainer and coach. Premier Agile Consulting specializes in Agile coaching, training, consulting and transformation services with its unmatched learning programs powered by globally recognized Scrum Alliance flagship certifications, the startup assists organizations to stay digitally progressive and increase their productivity. You want to know more about this business? Let's get into the video. Hello sir, thank you for joining uh, today, good evening and I am Namrata, I will be taking your interview. So if you could kindly introduce yourself to the audience. Sure, thank you. So my name is uh, Suresh Kunduru. I have been in this industry for very very long time, about 23 years of work experience and um, largely with big corporates in India and a uh, lot of time outside India as well been with Infosys for about 15 years and with large small organizations and with a startup for a year and I've been into this uh, industry training coaching people for the last 10 years or so I mean, though my total work experience is more than 20 years and uh, this startup I have been probably doing for the last three years or so. All right so how did you come up with the idea of the startup? Okay so the today's world, as we know, you know, a lot of us need several new products, new services, not just in the technology world, but outside the technology world, you know, non-IT world, software, both in software and non-software world as well. And we need products, we build products. But then are we building them in the right way? Are we able to manage them with the right priorities? Are we able to include the customer from the beginning? So the, the development stage is not really, you know, that upgraded in the industry, not very well known to the, you know, the latest trends are not known in the industry. There is a lot of failure that is happening in the industry, a lot of investment that goes as a waste. For example, if I take a lot of startups have brilliant ideas, but then when they really build the product, you know, more than 90% of the startups fail as per the survey. So why are they failing? It's a, is it because of lack of a great idea? No, maybe the execution is not there or maybe some other support is not there. So I see a lot of gap in terms of how that whole product development, the service development, the deployments, the maintenance is happening. If you take any industry, so I, I see there's a big gap there. And even large organizations fail a lot of times because they probably don't have the required awareness. So I see there's a lot of lack of awareness in the industry in terms of how development can be done. Right. Also, uh, you're talking about the market and the industry. So could you identify any particular gap where your product uh, need, would be a right fit? Sure. Yes, indeed. There is a big gap in the industry today in terms of how they perceive, how they develop, how they deploy. In the sense, a team gets together, they get some funding, they have a great idea, then they start developing that product or the service. And I'm not referring to only software in general, any product, you know, any farming product, for example, any manufacturing, mechanical, construction, banking, any industry. So you see there is a big lack of awareness on how this can be done very well. How can you involve customers from the beginning? But that gap, I see, if I look at the research, one more research today, I see there is a, you know, almost 80% lag in terms of the maturity, <clears throat> in terms of the old way of working versus a new way of working. So there is this whole new way of working agile way of working or a flexible way of working wherein you take care of customers needs you manage their priorities the team is well informed there is a lot of collaboration so that is a new way of working is what i'm calling it that's uh, precisely the agile way of working which is probably not known to the people so that's a big gap that i see there is almost uh, nearly 20 percent of the people who are doing it right and the others are either not there or trying to get there or attempted but failed so that expertise is missing in the industry is a big gap that I would see today. All right. Um, if you had to explain your business model in 
simple terms uh, for everybody to understand how would you do that okay so first of all we figure out what is this lack of understanding or the gap in the way people are doing things right so there are two types of people one is a you know direct individual customers or the other uh, type of people is the organizations so we look at both of them and then see who needs help so obviously there is a lot of push system but we use more of a pull system wherein people will pull help from us and then you know we reach out to them we talk to them we explain to them what we do how they can be better in their professional personal lives and how we can coach them how we can train them so we, we kind of convince them and then they come to our programs they are onboarded into our you know programs we certify them on those uh, programs for example and then you know they come to our classes you know we do a lot of physical classes virtual classes as well so that's one way we approach our customers and then there is one one of these biggest uh, certification body based out of the united states so we are one of the accredited uh, you know trainers with the body the name of the body is scrum alliance so we we are accredited with them and then we provide those programs we bring those programs into the market through my uh, organization premier agile right to sum it up then uh, what are the services or products you are specifically offering to your customers okay so number one uh, biggest offering is uh, the scrum alliance certifications that i was talking about these are typically two day programs or more so two of the largest most uh, popular programs today i would say is uh, certified scrum master csm okay so this is one of the largest uh, or i would say the most popular in any industry today it's not about software or hardware any industry today you say this is the one of the top 10 certifications in the world today so that's one product that we offer to the customers and the other one we do is a certified scrum product owner you know this is a little jargon on the certification industry but these are very very popular to people who already know you know and who already are doing and pursuing these kind of things so csm cspo these are the two large products that we offer to the industry and apart from that we also do lot of uh, individual coaching professional coaching Uh, wherein uh, our trainers our coaches sit with people work with them identify the gaps you know this is more of a one on one coaching or one to a team level coaching and we sit with managers team members and middle management senior leadership customers users we sit with them we figure out what are their challenges in their workplace and then how can we resolve them you know so that's another big offering that we do and the third one is more of a transformation it's a more of an organization level transformation because a lot of organizations are still stuck in an old way of working you know they they're not really embracing the new way of working and that is why we see a lot of companies fail today as well so we we impact at those different level levels of an organization and we train them coach them uh, short term programs long term programs and so on okay so uh, what are that uh, what are your target uh, customers like what are the domains you are trying to find your uh, customers okay so our domain is uh, pretty large in terms of you know when i say the adoption is just 20% in the whole world uh, probably majority of the software industry have uh, embraced this kind of working of course there is still a long way to go for the software domains as well but if you look at a non software domain uh, even this kind of thinking can be applied there and uh, that's a huge huge space today if you look at uh, at the whole world the non it embracing this kind of work is probably in single digits or less very very less uh, so there is that's a huge market and uh, we work with individuals we work with teams we work with customers across software non software banking mechanical construction and this is not just with organizations we also work with uh, universities schools you know legal bodies governments ngos you know it's, it's you name it we we work with them so th- this can be done pretty much the, the the way of working that i was talking about can be done pretty much not just in the organization but also at home some people say how can we be agile at home how can we be agile in schools okay so we coach everyone who is ready for that kind of a change and embrace and work with the customers in a more effective manner all right so um if i were a potential customer at your startup 
uh why should i choose you and not go to any of your competitors ah there you go that's a very very good question so that's where we differentiate in the market so our offering is re- based on real time experience okay you see there are several coaches trainers out there in the industry but our coaches and trainers are really tested meaning experienced in the industry for maybe 15 20 25 years and uh, that's one reason why people come back to us again and again so when people go for one of the programs and they get benefited they come back for a second program and so most of our business is repeated customers and then they bring their friends they bring their family members i'm going to do one program to a college going kid next week you see so there there is a school going kid also in one of my classes so we do that and uh, our uh, engagement with the customers is based on a research that was done in the last 50 years this is called brain science learning wherein we engage people to the best possible extent it's not just about reading through a powerpoint or reading a book this is something more engaging than that and people are really motivated because it's going to be a quite interactive uh, engagement so people come back for that interaction when we do a program like that certified scrum master a csm workshop i would say a cspo workshop people come back for engagement and so that's that's another reason why people choose us and uh, you know uh, we also you know it's no surprise that we are like more than 10000 people trained across the last couple of years rated 5 out of 5 on google more than 1000 reviews out there and we train people from more than 30 countries so the space that we are talking about is not just india it's across the globe Okay. and we are rated as i mean just recently yesterday i heard a uh, couple of days back i heard one of the updates uh, we are like listed amongst the top 10 agile consulting space if 20 hour review india magazine so i think that speaks pretty much for it great great congratulations also um when being associated with or collaborating with vendors what are the uh-huh. parameters you actually judge them upon before uh, taking them aboard sure so we partner with quite a few part, uh, people quite a few ma- partners actually because we rely on lot of marketing so we needed uh, specialists in uh, say google marketing google search engine optimization we need uh, content writers you know both regular as well as guest content writers not just text related blogs but also video content development we needed uh, payment systems payment platforms you know like uh, stripe razor pay and uh, like and uh, we work with uh, we needed those event platforms like zoom or anything like that because you know we do we conduct a lot of classes and a lot of events online a lot of free events as well and that's one we needed a lot of resellers for this space because i am accredited with the with the body out there the certifying body scrum alliance but i needed a couple of other people who can sell who can have their expertise and you know because my core expertise is not selling my core expertise is delivering that whole product right so i need i partner with several people and we we still on board at least one new partner every day in the last uh, couple of years i would say and uh, what else do we need a website our own software development and maintenance team so we we look at that space as well So we work with several vendors today. So what are the qualities you actually look at while hiring them? Okay. This is a very very niche field, niche subject. It's it's not so easy to understand that subject as well. So we we needed more quality than we really being stuck with price or anything like that. So this is a very very as I said, this is a top 10 certifications programs in the entire world. I'm not talking about software world, but in general, to take the medical space uh any research you take mechanical construction any space you take we are the i mean this is one of the top 10 programs in the world right rated as per a research so it's a very very niche field so we look at more quality people with real expertise who can help us uh, not just that somebody who is a just like that who came in the last couple of years so we needed people with more than 15 20 years of expertise in the field a uh, good quality good customer service and 24 by 7 availability is another big aspect that we look at because we deal with people all around, all around the globe okay uh, well uh, if i would uh, if you could share uh, your short term and long term goals if you have planned any for the company 
Yeah, sure. So right now we are working only through those couple of programs that I mentioned. Uh, that itself is a big space, but there are several other uh, spaces we can explore. For example, uh, leadership at an organization level. You know how flexible and agile that they can be. Um, for another example is how can we address the business agility in the industry today? Because a lot of companies people are stuck. Probably in an old way of working, and what they have thought is the best in a in a earlier manner, but then things have changed. We have to move on. So, transforming from an old way of thinking to a new way of thinking, right? So, and is applicable at all departments in the organization, not just with ground level teams, but also with middle management, upper upper management, the leadership, customers, users. So, we have plans to take our programs and more of leadership coaching, for example, more at that level. Right in the next uh, few years, that's one. And the second thing is, we also wanted to onboard other organizations and see how we can partner with uh, universities and NGOs and so on and so forth. So that's another big plan we have. Okay. okay. Uh, well, also you will agree to this fact that when an on- organization grows and uh, plans to expand, funding is an important part of. It. Uh, so, mm. uh, if you could walk me through the funding scenario at your company, uh, have you been taking uh, external fundings before, or are you planning to in the near future? So, our uh, main capital, at least as of now, is more of a brain capital than anything else. You know, earlier we had these whole uh, travel and lot of stuff. Nowadays, due to pandemic, you know, travel is restricted. So. That's not really there. Uh, so it's more of an intellectual capital is what we need. But really, to I mean that doesn't stop there. It, if you have to expand to new domains, new segments, new markets, new offerings, obviously we needed capital. We needed some funding. Uh, as of now, we are not really looking for that because that's a little long-term plan. Maybe after a year or so, maybe we'll probably need some funding as well. And I'm sure startup lanes is gonna help me with that. Well, you are talking about startup planes. My last question would be, uh, what are your views or thoughts on startup planes? Oh, startup planes. So when I heard for the first time from Shishir, I thought this is a great thing, and uh, I've always thought there is a gap in the industry in terms of understanding how to function, how to run a startup, how to get that funding, how to get those ideas, how to pitch. I think that way, startup planes is doing fantastic uh, in terms of giving back to the community. You know, helping people create an ecosystem in terms of uh, how, they, for example, I was part of the group last couple of months, and I'm seeing some very very active initiatives. Okay, you now morning motivation is something very nice, for example, right? And the other thing I'm seeing is some of the Zoom sessions in terms of how to sell an idea. You know, how to have people, how to hire people, how to convince them to join your organization, for example, right? So these are some of the events I'm seeing in the last couple of months, and I thought. They're really inspiring, motivating. So, startup planes, I think, is doing pretty good in, on those terms. And, and and one small thing that I could probably request is maybe you should you should also see how you can project more real case studies in terms of how people are benefited. Maybe you have it somewhere and I haven't seen it. Probably that's my ignorance, but probably that is something that you could also focus because I'm sure more than seven thousand, eight thousand startups already uh, were benefited and working with you guys. Well, great. you were talking. Uh, yeah, well, you were talking about giving back to the community. Well, uh, my uh, my short question to you from my side is: uh, apart from your usual offerings, uh, mm. what are, what are you doing to give back to the community as well? Uh, okay, so uh, my involvement, even though without coming to this, uh, without starting Premier Agile Consulting, is I've been with big corporates. In the last 10-15 years, I have always been pretty active in the community, doing a lot of you know service in terms of intellectual ways, you know, conducting conferences, speaking at events, volunteering events. So I have pretty much continued the same thing even after uh, starting Premier Agile. So we have an initiative called Premier Wednesday. So all Wednesdays are Premier for us because we do free events on those days. So when I say free events, people join our events on an online platform. About 50, 60, 100 people, and then we do uh, some webinars, some uh, you know knowledge sharing sessions, free of cost. These are free of cost. So that's why I'm calling them Premier Wednesday. 
and we do uh, lifetime mentoring sessions. So anybody who joins our program registers with us. They have a lifetime opportunity in terms of getting back any free mentoring in their career, in their uh, office, uh, professional life, or in terms of implementation, in terms of product development. Any challenges, we always do lifetime free mentoring. I think that's a big difference, in fact, on how Premier Agile operates in the in the market today. Apart from this, you know, philanthropy. I think I think a lot of companies do it. So we we also do it. We we have. Work with several trusts around and all that stuff. We, we do pretty much around the globe, not just in India. I mean, I run some trust for the last ten years or so, even before Premier Agile has happened. Great, sir, great. Uh, well, that will bring us uh, to an end. But thank you for joining today. Thank you for taking out time and talking about your giving back to the community as well as about your product. Uh, so, thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.